Hey fam! fam. <laughs> so we are finally here with the living room tour. So we're gonna give you guys a little rundown of the, of the living room and what we've done to it. We'll show you guys what it looked like before and obviously what it looks like. Now we're just gonna take you around so that you can focus on some of the new things that we did. Jay put in a lot of elbow grease. <laughs> so you'll see a lot of, you know, all of the things that he did to really make this space our little oasis. I think what we were going for was just that kind of tropical feel. Like you have a sense of being outside but we're inside so we brought in full plants and we put um, a wall with leaves on it we just wanted to have that kind of green sense of nature and color so that it would be a bright inviting space it was it was work <laughs> and a lot of back and forth I could tell you that yeah because yeah, one minute we were ready and then the next minute she was like oh i have an idea let's move this and put this here and let's do this, and this. <laughs> so i was trying to do the most but a lot of times we had like um there were times when i would suggest something and he didn't agree but then eventually he would say it my way and vice versa Some, sometimes he would say let's do something and i'm like eh. so eventually you and would seduce me into it basically yes <laughs> but that means you seduce <laughs> me too because no. I, <laughs> no. I didn't always agree with his ideas and same thing for and that's what happens we're individuals we both have our own mindset right. but we really wanted to make the space something that we both would love and enjoy when we sit we want to be comfortable and we also want to know that when we are looking around that there's a smile on our face because we see something that brings us some kind of contentment you know true true because you know a wherever you live should be an oasis where you need to get off the street and once you open that door everything you should just leave it right by the door and know that yes this is my Oasis, Mikasa, whatever you want to call it, you know, yes. whatever you put your elbow grease into, you know, <laughs> your creation. So it should be something that you, you know, yeah, you're dying to get into. So yeah, this is it now. So we're going to give you a whole rundown, spotlight. So hey, here we go. A lot of people feel felt like the need to make their space a little bit more, I guess, inviting after covid i think because we spend more time here i spend a lot of time indoors jay is out a lot but when he comes in he wants to know that when he comes in he still feels comfortable and happy to come into this space so i had my reasons and he had his reasons definitely we spend a lot of time in this living room watching tv chilling out and whatnot so we wanted to make sure that when we came from when we got off of work because i would work at a little corner in the kitchen <laughs> that was my that is my worst space and then after work i literally would come into this space here and this is what i'm coming home to in a sense you know and that's how i would like to see it so i don't know where do you want to start babe yeah what's um oh, well, i think the fireplace first maybe? thing um oh the fireplace because that's the um, first thing you really tackled uh, I think the first thing we actually did tackle was um, brightening up the living room. With the, the painting? Um, the painting and yeah. all of that. Yeah, we had to do a little bit of, you know, touch up with the compound and all of that. Plus, uh, paint brightening up. Yeah, we had to Make put... Minor adjustments, you know, but that was about it for the walls. For the walls, yeah. We yeah. just painted it mostly white because... More white because it was kind of like a off-white. Mm -hmm. One of those beige colors that just look dirty all the time. So one of the best ways to brighten up a wall or brighten up a space is to put either bright colored paint or white. White is like the best bright. And I think then after that was the fireplace. Oh yeah, that was a work. That the fireplace is a, was a project. Yeah, it was a it was a project, a serious project. So basically, what happened? Um, I was working on the Magnum. Figure more or less the training wasn't good, so decided to jump the training. 
upon Jung and the tranny, I came upon this fireplace in the tranny shop, you know, just collecting dust. I asked the guy, yo, you know, what are you doing with that? He was like, hey, we don't want it. Man. Just give, me, give me 50 bucks. So I gave him the 50 bucks, right? Because I knew the value of it. So I dragged it in, and after I dragged it in, the color was brown. So yeah. I started getting to work. It had all kind of dog ear, animal ear. So I had to get to work, rip it down, buy a new switch for it, because the switch wasn't working, the power switch. And I decided to paint it in black. Mm, then now, but at the time, every, everything in here was kind of black mm -hmm. too, so that, that was fine. We felt that it would just blend with what we had. And at that time, we weren't thinking about doing any changes to the living room. It, yeah, at least not those major changes that we ended up doing. Then G decided, now, hey, you know what? Let's do it in white. But that's because we were changing. That This is when we finally decided, let's just recreate the space make it a brand new space mm -hmm. and we felt like the colors that we were coming in with like the sofa for instance which we'll get to it would just have worked better with white i didn't see it in white i i i tell her like listen no, hell's to the no yeah it was a full I was push just back like, nope mm, i want to give me no yeah it went on for days nope and then finally you know i just let go i was like whatever yeah so i painted it in white um and then he got excited, don't forget that. When he saw it in white, he said, oh goodness, it does look good in white. If you know how much pushback I had on this, I had to show him so many different videos or photos, Pinterest, looks of various fireplaces that were white. Yeah, she had to, she had to do a whole lot. She had to get blueprint, the whole works, everything before. You know, then I, then I was like, you know what? Okay, all right. Cool. Show it to a few, few, of my, few of my peoples, you know, Rashid was one of them. We hit him up and he was just like, yo, dog, that's sick, you know? Me, I said, alright, cool. But then now, I was like, yo, me, I feel, me I feel definitely, I have to put a spin on it now. So then I decided, you know, to drop the tiles in on it, that yeah. gold finish. And when I sent that gold finish to him, he was like, yo, you amaze me, man. You, you doing some serious interior decorating. That was yeah. good. I was not yeah. seeing the tiles. Remember, yeah. I was like, eh, just leave it so. <laughs> and he was like, trust me, it's going to be good. And if it don't look good, we could pull it, peel it off because it's the stick on tiles. Yeah, it came out real good. Very, very. What I mean, it came out very good. Like, yeah, it, it now it's. It's 100% sellable now, you know, hey, make us an offer. <laughs> <laughs> After putting in all that, our receipts ready yes, to sell it. You could make us an offer right now. It works, you know, everything, everything on it works, you know, also the heat. It pushes some good heat too. Hey, like, it on pushes those cold some nights. It's serious like, heat. Oh, yes, yes, it works well. And then we had a rough time finding the sofa that we both loved. Now, the other sofa we had was this gray. I had that sofa was around for like I don't know, maybe ten what years. It was around for a long time, eh. and we just figured, you know what? Let's just get rid of that sofa because at first we were looking at maybe getting a cover for it, but um, yeah, that was a no because we also felt like we needed more space because yes, he's a fairly big guy, guys. You look at the I yes. lie. Hey, hey, look, look, I'm small. Watch it, man. Look how small I am. Hey, I'm he small. He takes up all the space <laughs> on the sofa and I be scotching in a corner. I'm like, yo, yeah, we definitely need a bigger sofa. For yeah, we, we, we decided, yeah. you know what, we had to. And then plus now, had to go with something that's, you know, upbeat because the last one was just like. <sighs> Yeah, that was gray, mm -hmm. and everyone I know is into like neutrals and whites for their apartments. And there are some spaces in here that I would say like let's stick to the neutrals. But the living room, we just wanted it to come alive. Yeah. So, in looking for a sofa, at one point I saw another gray that I like, and he was like, Nah, but let's I, really switch away from the gray because I like even gray. that. When I went looking for a sofa, because you know, I, mean, I like the antique, the tradi um, traditional kind of look, and she was like, Oh no, oh no, oh, <laughs> oh no, 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 no
Guess what? Some age I'll leave it up to you. You go do what you do. Do do it. You go choose. Go choose. And it wasn't. Hey. But you know what? If we had gone with those those other antique looking ones, this face would have taken on a different look yes, altogether. It would have. I I. Tell you the truth, I wasn't see where she was going, but once the fireplace came alive, I was, he was like, he okay. Was, he was kind of low. <laughs> All right, we get in, we get in somewhere here with G. Then I was like, okay, then the the, the, the sofa. sofa came. And we couldn't, but we, we had to. We had a lot of a, stress. Sorry, we had a lot of uh, stress with the sofa. Too, oh yeah, we, oh, yeah. Oh, first oh, of all, we weren't sure that we wanted this sofa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because we looked for like what two weeks, we were looking for a sofa for well, I did most of the searching because I'm at home, so I take time and I look. When he come home, I'm showing him and saying, "Babe, what about this? What about this?" And eventually, we we both agreed that this would work because we definitely wanted something with a recline. Well, chase, we chased chase, the lounge right, area, right? So that we can put our feet up and just watch it television and be comfortable mm -hmm. but we also like the fact that we can lay across here yes it's like wide, side, enough, it's it's, wide. It's wide almost like a twin size bed it's huge. that's all wide. okay so jay's gonna tell you about the stress because when it came oh, we yes. thought we needed to send it back because it was <laughs> so big yeah the G. way it was we couldn't really fit it and see the... g doesn't g is slim enough so g don't know how to talk okay so how to talk yeah you don't know how to talk you got another talk g what do you mean? What do you have that no, mean? You ain't got no fat to hide. You ain't got no rolls. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> people, watch it. <laughs> so, you got rolls, so you know what to talk. Okay. Hey, so. I'm assuming that's what he means. It came in. So, when the sofa came in, boom. It's nice. Love the color. Very radiant. Everything on the fabric. Then, guess what? Okay. It, cannot, it can't fit. It cannot fit because. The length wise, it was touching against the heater, which is right here. And you know, G was just like, oh, let's just send it back. And I'm just like, oh, no, we ain't. So I'm thinking back when I used to work by the furniture store, I know we used to take the arms off. They had a guy they used to call. So Roger was here, and I, they had somewhere to go. I was supposed to go, and I was like, no, nah, I don't want to go because I knew my intention. Oh yeah, my cousin so, was here. Yeah, he, we were I going somewhere. Just... To, we were trying to get him to go with us. Mm. He was like, no, 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 I y'all go alone. Da, da. Yeah, so they finally decided they're gonna go. So I just went, grabbed I the tool back. I knew he was back. up to no good when I was <laughs> I grabbed that tool back. I just bust that arm off, <laughs> put it in the corner. I didn't even tell her anything. She came in, she looking like, why, why? It looked like everything is so, you know, neatly done. And then she realized I took the arm off. She was like, oh, you know, I gotta let this thing digest. Let me see how it works first. Let me, let me, let me hold on for a minute and see. And then, hey, see, it's here, it works. Then after that, I think the rug came in. And then the rug kind of like, sorry. I'm sorry. See, <laughs> this what, this what I gotta go through. But this no, I had to respond. Yo, it was important. Sorry. Listen, sorry. listen. Iggy, 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 when we're doing videos, okay? Yes, Iggy. Iggy. It's stop. one of, one right. of J, Jay's Tell friends you. who is now my BFF, okay? Tell you. Iggy. <laughs> Life is so funny. You're into the video, she's, Iggy. She's stop his it. friend, but now I think she's more my friend than this. So every day we, we literally talk, but we are talking about things. You know that we have planning for our future, but anyway, let me yes, not digress. Yes. So, we were right. talking about the rug. Right. So the, picking the rug was easy to me because once we figured out what sofa we wanted, mm -hmm. the rug was easy because we put, we picked them up from the same um, website, and everything was ordered online and shipped. The rug came way before the sofa. Yes. The sofa took about three weeks. It took long. It took really long. I think had not for the sofa, we would have probably had this video recorded and uploaded a long time. But it took long to come. We got this, the rug, we anchored, it anchored the entire yeah, it, space. Yeah, it dropped in very nice. The, the color rug. scheme and everything, the blue with the couch, the little bit of gold with also the, it uh, ties in with the every curtain and yeah. the tables, everything. You would see that it literally has in all of the colors 
Yeah. Yeah. There he goes. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. All right, guys, we had to stop for a second. Oh. <laughs> Shit. People, yeah. We had to stop for a second. I had an important message to respond to, and then it turns out that Jay yeah. had a call. So, so we also put on the couch. We have all of these different cushions that we thought would work well with the the um, carpet as well. Again, we got some yellow, we blue, pinks, and even a little Indian-inspired one. <laughs> okay, so we ended up getting the center table. At first we were trying to get a, a round one, but that was not working. Yeah, so wasn't work it wasn't working at all because the space is, is, is though it's a decent size, the round was gonna be, it just was gonna be cumbersome. So this worked out really, really well. We love the, the fact that they had the extra space on the bottom that we can place things and the color in, that they had, it, like that marble look, which was what we kind of have tied throughout the apartment. Right, like because we were going with the coasters. Coasters are marble. Right, they are marble. Then the star on the book is marble. Um, yeah, so that kind of, and also the other, this little box that we're keeping things in, this is, right. that is true marble. It's yeah, it is solid, solid, solid it's marble. It's way, way more than Yes, because <laughs> my daughter saw it and she was just like, wow, this is very nice. Yeah. On the coffee table, we ended up having I have two books here that are from Dior. These were mailed to me because I'm on their mailing list after I ordered a few things from them. And then the star, I remember we went to Home Goods and that's yeah. where we picked up almost every single item on the coffee table is from Home Goods. Yeah. Jay fought me on the the two um, <laughs> the two what do you call the, some kind of stuff. The figurines. Uh, there there are two of them. It's a male and a female. I said to him, babe, that's you and me. Right. So it's two, it to me it represents a man and a woman. And I said to him, Unity. that's right. you and me. See? And I. It was so cute. So I had to have it, even though it didn't really necessarily match, it just blended because it's kind of like a charcoalish looking color. But it worked in the space. Alright, um the candle, we, we also got those from home. <laughs> From home goods, and these three crystals, crystals are candle holder. crystal ca candle yeah. operas were around for some time. Yeah, those are old. All right, the curtains we all we picked those up from Amazon, and this I had like this is old. This has been around. We decided to just put it in the center to anchor the the two yellow curtains or gold or whatever color you would want to call them. And then we have these two beautiful plant pots that Jay um, painted, spray painted in gold since we had like the gold throughout the, the space. For the curtain rods, we ended up adding these little circle, um, those rings, rings right. because we wanted to make the curtains a little longer. Not that you guys can see them, but I love to see yes. my curtains like literally driving on the floor right and she decided to go with a full wall to give the living room a bigger a wider. wider look yeah. which it did work you know yeah. it's an illusion <laughs> and <laughs> then the plant here goes the plant so you, you already know we're going with that tropical jungle team you know yeah so yeah we, we, we saw these on what amazon amazon yeah so we decided to get this big boy right here it's yeah it's like and the bird of paradise the problem is that in this living room area we only get sunlight early in the mornings and it doesn't last for like even though you're seeing sunlight come through now when in the summertime it's more likely to get that sunlight but the sunlight is not enough it's not direct so plants don't normally live in this area but they so yeah we had to go with four plants so that they don't die <laughs> Um, the, the gold thing that the plant is in, that was from Target, and that's pretty old, and then the basket, um, I think Jay picked that up from what, Marshalls? Yeah, yes, he picked that, that up from, from Marshalls, Marshalls yeah. because the plant pot, the actual plant pot came with something else, like a basket, but we used the basket for another plant, um, yeah, and I really love how that brought um, height to the space because um, 
be felt like it took you it caused your eyes to go up you know having that big tall plant right there love it um so on the fireplace the two books look, everything on that fireplace also came from home goods the two books and the little balls and the bird and the ball all those bird came. and the bees yeah home goods <laughs> is our space i love home goods the the mirror that was from home goods as well and this was an old piece that just worked with the fireplace i really really love that and the stand that the <laughs> yeah your pumper the pumper nickel jay hates that pumper's grass listen this thing is just like when you know as a child you know when you got a bush you know and then you come back with all kind of burger and fur fur in your head and all kind of stuff that is what she like on bush the bush plant as he calls it was purchased from etsy <laughs> and it was not cheap i've had it for a long time and the trick though to it because it does it leaves a lot of dust but um my niece told me to spray some hairspray on it and it worked it still could do it a little bit more but it used to like fall like crazy yeah, it's tamed a little bit so it needs it's just a little bit more spray in my opinion don't get it you will be sweeping Make up your and own and dusting for the longest while and if a hint of breeze catch it <laughs> but that was before i yes. sprayed it babe you know i don't do that anymore mm. it, it could probably do with a little bit more hairspray but the hairspray trick yeah, it, it, it work. No it, lie. It work. It work. Really? I ain't lying. It, 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 it work. work. Yeah. It's it's cute. And especially the um the, the, the vase that it's in, it, it blends in real nice. Yeah, that big but tall vase. It's a headache. Yeah. It's a headache. I but we it. sprayed that vase too. That vase was kind of like a tarnished color. Yeah, it was bronze. Yeah. And then so I had to flip it up in some gold, so you know, even the um the stands that the plant are on, they came black. So we had to just hold it up, you know, and hey, tie in real nice. Yes. And so we're at the plants now. Yeah, the okay. other the other <laughs> plant there in the corner, that one we got um from Amazon as well. This one is um low and high probably on three, four feet. Four feet. Yeah, that right. Was so I was telling G to get another one so we would have a pair mm -hmm. by the TV stand but she was like no yeah, I didn't know. think it was it was gonna be yeah. too matchy matchy and I had this old plant that is like a fiddle leaf plant again full a full fiddle leaf that was from Ikea and mm -hmm. I said you know what I think they will just work together rather than getting another one of these it just yeah I thought for us I thought that they just blended very well once we you know got them and we put them both in baskets. This basket for this one is the one that the Bird of Paradise was supposed to be in, but it did not look good. It looked like, I don't know what they were thinking. All right, so then on the floor, to create a little interest in the corners, we added these, these huge jars with the rope detail on the outside. I thought that those tied in very very well with the basket because it has that same kind of color and then because we had the blues the blue and those bottles work really really well now these were all old we've had these for some time and they just fit back into the space um by the by the fiddle leaf tree there's this silver elephant even though we don't have a lot of silver in here it kind of works it's nothing wrong with me saying metals um one of the vases so they're big, like big water bottles so they're like big, yeah. they're like water jars you know so like big mugs. urns so they all have a little touch of silver in them as well along with the rope and the little um what would you call that that ball that little eight ball eight it's a, all right so that ball that you use for the pool right what's that like a candle bowl or something yeah so that little blue ball a pool, um, a pool that ball, you use for right. like it looks like a pot a ball that you would play a pool with it is a, also a candle holder never used it for anything but i thought it was cute there and finally we're over to the wall yes we are absolutely in love with, with the, that wall with the 
wall. G said she wanted to leave it like accent where the TV stand is and I'm like, we had a bit of fight and we changed a couple wallpapers well. And then she came with the tropical theme and I'm like, how does gonna look? You know, and then try putting on one piece and I was like, mm -hmm. so I'm like that and eventually she was right again. So yes, I said, all right, fine, not a problem. We left it there. And last but not least, the TV stand. So I went on um, Instagram and I was scrolling through on um, Instagram and I saw an, a website called Parandon PM. We'll also leave a link to that. And they placed a TV stand on the wall with a nice tile backdrop in the middle. I saw it and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna copy that concept. So the TV stand we had, I cut it in half. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> he cut up the entire TV stand. She was One, two, three, four. She couldn't see where I was going. She was just like pacing back and forth. I was just like, easy. I, I, I got it, man. I got it. And then I, I was in love once it was done. I was trying oh. to figure out how to get it on the wall, and then I started. And then, you know, once I, um, I think I copied on the whole concept, um, contacted Parent and PM, I sent it over to them and they were astonished. It was like, wow, it's beautiful. Oh, you sent it to them yes, afterwards? I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. So that was like... I didn't know. Yeah. It was a win-win. It, it was. It was a win-win. It was. Oh, but wait, so, so after we put up the wallpaper, mm -hmm. we discussed whether we were going to put the same, and this is something I want you guys to help us with. I, I, he didn't know that I was going to ask. But I was thinking that we should put the more of the wallpaper on the insides rather than leaving those two L's with the vases white. I was thinking, why not just put those you know, carry the tropical scene throughout there. It looks like it's like the wall in quite neat together. No. <laughs> That's just my right, opinion. So, so I, would, I would like just to, and I don't, I just want you guys to give me an honest opinion. Do you think we should put the wallpaper in there as well or leave it as is? She's referring to inside the white then, space of TV stand, I'll, but I was telling her it would actually make it look crowded the TV stand wouldn't stand out or pop by itself so but it's not the TV um, anyway guys I feel like it wouldn't detract from the TV stand 
but he feels like it will be crap because he's looking at the white being I don't know the TV stand is white so yeah. that's why I don't think it will be a problem Nah, it, it, it differentiates like you see that it's a TV stand instead of just a white rim just going around it forming squares and you know rectangle oh so you feel like people will look at it and see the back of the TV stand is white Oh, no, it's because it's not the TV stand. The, the uh, basically, it's like they would not see the TV stand for what it is. Then the unit, then for what it is, they wouldn't see it because it would be just. I still feel like you can see it. That it protrudes out, so I feel like you can see, and it's white, so it would totally be seen. I'm gonna probably right. put it in, you know what? right? Because it can come it off. In, right? It can peel so off. G is gonna peel. <laughs> Well, <laughs> yeah, she's gonna take that time and put it in, and then she'll take a you know a snap, snap, and upload it. And uh, yeah, we'll decide if you like it yes. afterwards. But we'll uh, insert that another time. Um, over on this wall, just to wrap it up really, really quickly. And I know we took a long time trying to even discuss this thing, but let's oh, but let's first of all wrap up the TV stand because the two top bases, those are all those were here before. In fact, everything inside that. Are old and then because the space was so tight with the couch we ended up picking up a lamp that was long and thin, like slender right it reminds me of a one of those old lanterns back in the day mm -hmm. yeah before we actually had electricity <laughs> it reminds me of those that was street lamps that used to, that they used to have and that my dear friends is the end of the living room yes yeah that's it so what uh, do you guys think people just drop that comment in there let us know exactly what you think and how you like the whole switch around of the apartment and also please like subscribe share this one to all your friends who are doing little renovations or you know, just spread it across the world. What is he doing next to me? I don't. Gee, when I can't go. see, he feels that it's our problem. You know. the, 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 the camera is right there. I can't see. All right, guys. Cameraman, can you tell her what we're doing? Okay. Oh, I forgot. We don't got a cameraman, right? We're we going to need one because <laughs> sometimes he just need to straighten up and fly right. <laughs> But anyway, we are finished with the living room tour. Guys, let us know what your favorite part of the living room space is. Is there anything that you would have done different? And if there's anything that you are interested in, let us know. Um, hopefully, we can give you guys links to some of the things um, that we purchased online. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And let us know whatever we put our sweat in. If you want to make a bid on it, yes, the floor is open. A bid on it. Yes, a bid on it. Maybe mm. you gotta speak up. You're the man, you speak. Let us know if you wanna make a bid on it. You see, if I was talking like a bitch, it would have been a little <laughs> different thing. But I'm talking like a man. I'm gonna leave that in the video. We leave it in. No, you can't do that. Guys, this you was fun. We really enjoyed doing this living room over, mm -hmm. even though we butt heads a few times. Uh, and when we holy. sit back here and we lay down and we relax and we watch TV and we drink and we eat, this is our space and we are happy with the results. Yes. We still feel like there's one or two things more that we would want to do, but there are minor, minor things. And if we do, we'll probably insert those in an upcoming vlog for you. All right, guys, we look forward to seeing you in our next video yes so you already know like subscribe and share okay <laughs> anybody you know doing any renovations switch up all of that just put the video out there let them know and Give also them some ideas. whatever we put our elbow grease in hey, it's up for bits so okay. i'm not taking any bits on hey bit 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 <laughs> let's go start the action let me hear let me hear let me hear let me hear 200 on the first let me hear let me hear 300 on the first <laughs> I cannot wait to go.